Hi, I'm Mike Wilson with AmericanMuscle.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to install our pre-painted GT500 rear spoiler. But first, let's get rid of that stock spoiler. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the factory nuts holding your spoiler. Then use a plastic putty knife or something of the same type of material to ensure that you don't damage your car's paint. You may have some tape residue left over from the stock spoiler. You'll have to remove that before installing your new spoiler using a quality adhesive remover and a plastic putty knife or something similar to that. Once the stock spoiler is off and the leftover adhesive removed, use the provided alcohol prep pad to clean the area of the trunk where the new spoiler will attach. Now, remove the backing of the 3M tape on the back of your new spoiler. And take the two foam tabs provided and place them on the back of the spoiler over the threaded inserts. Now it's time to line up your spoiler with the appropriate inserts on your car's trunk. Do not press down firmly on your car as the tape will begin to bond. You want to make sure that both sets of inserts are matched up. Once you've matched the holes up with the threaded inserts in the spoiler, Use the supplied Phillips head screws and washers to attach the spoiler. Once the spoiler is securely fastened to the trunk lid, close the trunk and press firmly on the spoiler to make sure the 3M tape has a secure bond. And just like that, you've completed the installation of the GT500 rear spoiler.